This is a Percom double density board for a TRS-80 Model 1. It hasn't been available since about 1983 and these days are very hard to find in working condition. It's also quite complicated, it has a lot of parts on it. This one has 13 chips and the double density controller and the socket where the 1771 from the Model 1 expansion interface goes in. What I'm offering now is a replacement. My new one is much simpler. It only uses nine support chips, the double density chip and the 1771 out of your expansion interface. It's made up out of new parts, it's completely compatible with the old Percom and can be used with any old Model 1 operating system that supported the Percom doubler. So that includes LDOS 5.3.1 and new DOS 80 to the most common ones. I'm sure the other ones work perfectly as well. So I'm going to show you how it's installed in the system. Next to it over here I've got my Model 1 test system set up. This expansion interface board is upside down as it would normally be. I've got it connected through an extra long cable. The disk drive's here. And so I can show you uh, how to install the new doubler. So the first step is to remove your 1771 disk controller chip. Like so. Once it's out, you need to install it in the doubler in that socket there. As, as it arrives this will have an empty socket here. I've already put one in here to make uh, this video run more smoothly. So we then take this, the 40 pin connector, and put it into the socket where the 1771 was previously installed. Okay, turn on our expansion interface, fire up our computer, press reset, so I'm first testing it with a single density floppy disk. Just focus in. So what that says is 40 tracks, single density, single sided, stepping rate of 40. I'll just insert a double density disc, test disc that I've got here. Reset. Now when we look at our devices list, a little difficult to see but what it says now is 40 cylinders, double density, single sided, stepping rate of 40 milliseconds, if we do a directory. is the disk capacity. So there you have it, that's the new double density adapter installed in a TRS-80 Model 1. 
If you're interested in one of these, drop me a line. Thanks for watching.